put your pelvis into the proper spot. Go ahead and hit it. There oh, that felt good. There you go. All right, we got an exciting one today. You guys know we love a little bit of tech. So today we've got Jim from 4D Motion coming in. It's incredible the way they measure the swing. It's almost like you're jumping into a video game. So we said, come on in and show us what this thing is because it measures your swing, but this is portable. So he's bringing the whole system here. Have not tried it, have not seen it yet. So this is all gonna be new to us. He's gonna be here any minute. We're just getting set up and then we're gonna dive into this thing. Jim, welcome. How are you? Good. I hear you got some pretty sweet technology. I think so. I think so. I think you guys will like it. All right. All right, Jim, the first thing I'm astonished with this, this is not that big. No. This is a small little no. package, but yes. we got a lot in here. So like, let's unpack this. Tell me what you got. Here. There's a lot in here. So this is the um, 4D motion sensor pack. Um, in here we have uh, eight IMUs or sensors, if you will, that are extremely small. Lightweight. Mm -hmm. So you don't um, feel them when they're you, on you. You, you don't yeah, know they're on. It's like a, a quarter. It feels like you, a quarter. Yeah. So this is basically the um, expert version, an expert system that we have that does golf, baseball, uh, softball, tennis, uh, functional movement assessments, any, anything that we do. Um, what I want to show you guys today is our new foundation product, which is going to be a three sensor system for a golf coach that's going to allow you guys to gather data very, very quickly on a player go straight into some biofeedback training or positional training, yeah. and then reassess your player as you go forward. What I love about this too, we talk all the time, feeling real. Yeah. Like it's seeing it. Cause like even the tool we've had is a video camera. Yep. But it doesn't always pick up the slight nuances and the golf swing happens so fast. Correct. I've struggled before with sequencing. That's mm -hmm. something I struggle with. So. I may feel like I'm doing something, but not realize it. So any type of measurement device, it sparks my interest because yeah. it shows you, there's no arguing with that point. Right, right. So when you have an IMU on you, um, it's measuring the body part that we expect it to measure. So we're gonna put, basically we're measuring the foundation. So we're gonna measure really two body parts. We're gonna measure the, the pelvis. Uh -huh. So the sensor is gonna go on the sacrum with one of the straps that comes with the system. And we're gonna put one between the shoulder blades, which is gonna get the chest. We're then gonna hit some golf balls. We're gonna measure that information. Uh, we measure it in seven different positions. Address, halfway back, top, halfway down, impact, post-impact, finish. Yep. Um, we're gonna look at that and see where we can, we can make some changes. That's awesome. Let's get, let's get strapped in and uh, check this thing out. Let's then. do it. Okay, so I have sensors put into these garments. Okay. We're gonna put these on you. Yep. Okay, come on over. We'll put this stuff on you and we'll get going. This goes on like a coat. So clip that on. This is gonna go on your sacrum. Okay, so sacrum. Shoulder blades. Okay. And this one is going to go on the wrist to do marking of the positions. All right, we got the sensors on. What's next? So here? what we're going to do is we're going to hit analyze your swing. Okay? Okay. The system's processing. It's collecting information, so we're ready to go. Okay. So go ahead. You want to hit three, four, five shots? Sure. And it's going to collect information. You'll see how quickly this goes. Good. Now we're just gonna hit the done button. You'll see how quickly this information pops up. It, oh, is, yeah. it is immediate, Wow. okay? So what we're looking at here on this screen is we made six swings. Yep. And the first column is some sequencing. Yes. You told me before you have problems with sequencing. Yep. So there's gonna be a transition sequence. Does the pelvis go first, torso go second? There's gonna be a deceleration sequence. Does the pelvis decelerate first or slow down? Does the torso go second? Okay. So you having sequencing issues is really not your issue because you sequence correctly. You have check marks, green check marks on all six of well, those I've been swings. working on it for a good. while since discovering good, good. it. So. so now we have some in information. Uh, green dots mean leave it alone, it's good. Okay. Yellow means might need some attention. Red means we have to look at it right okay. now. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at uh, seven different positions from address to follow through. Uh -huh. And we're looking at what the pelvis and the torso are doing in rotation, in forward bend, backward bend, and lateral bends. Okay. And what's okay. the benchmark for that? Like, so how do we know what's good and what's bad type of thing? These bench? benchmarks are based on thousands of swings we've taken from professional players. Got it. Okay. okay. Um, we know the ranges with which you need to be as the professional player. Um, we all strive to get there. We might not all be able to get there, but we strive to get there. Got it. Um, so I can now look at an individual swing. And now from P0 to P6, I can look at exactly where you were during that golf swing. So each one is that, is that moment in the swing where each I was. Each one of these screens is that moment in time. And I see it's measured by degrees, so rotation. And if you notice in the parentheses, those are the ranges that we're looking for. Got it. Okay. okay. 
So we keep moving along. There's a red side bend at P3. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's four, five, and, some and six. Some good swings and bad swings in there. So, which is which is great. Yep. The system wants us to train P4, which is impact. Okay. Which is to me the holy grail of what we do. There's a lot of guys out there who don't swing the golf club pretty. Right. And uh, create a lot of good things. So I can then go hit train P4. It's going to take us immediately into biofeedback. I'm going to start the biofeedback. Okay. And boom, there it is. So I can go in here and I can look at train all positions, mm -hmm. which is going to allow me to train every position of every body part. So the two body parts, P0, P6 mm -hmm. in the three axes, or I can train one body part, two body parts in one to, th one to three axes. So what we're going to do is we're going to train P5, which is impact, okay, just the pelvis, okay. and we're going to start out with just pelvic rotation. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So we have it on manual. You'll hear some auditory tones. You'll see it go from red to green as we go into biofeedback. And now I see it's live. It's live. So I'm seeing, as I turn my pelvis, I'm seeing, like, how many degrees I'm turning. Correct. That's cool. So if your coach is in California, yeah. we can do this live. <laughs> um, if, uh, if you're in the studio, we can do it live. Um, if you want to gather data, not like we did today here in the studio, if you want to go on the golf course and play around the golf, we can put a couple sensors on the body, collect data on the golf course, send it to the cloud, and then shoot it to your coach. So it's updating over the internet real time. Somebody can see it in a totally different location. Not real time over the internet yet, because we what we do is it downloads back to the software. Gotcha. So the sensors have memory to them. Yep. Um, so you want the golf course and you play golf and the sensor is measuring all that information, gathering that information, time stamping it. And when you get back to your iPad or iPhone, that data will then download gotcha. it and you can send it to the cloud. That's very cool. So let's work on some. And I could definitely see wearing this on the course because I'll be honest with you, I don't even feel the wrist one or this one. And this just feels like I'm wearing a vest. So on the course, this won't even be on your body. Okay. So, I, you, so it would hide in the background during a practice correct. very simply. Correct. You all know as golfers, sometimes our driving range swing and our on course swing can be a little bit different. You mentioned it It'd be to interesting me. to see. Yeah. You, you mentioned, mentioned it that. to me earlier, real and feel, right? Yeah, real and okay, feel. Okay, so we're gonna okay. work on pelvic rotation and impact. So let's okay. set yourself up okay. and just rotate the pelvis to impact. Excellent, so you can hear the auditory tone. So that's where right? it wants me to and be. You that's can see that where range. you are. Yep, do it again. So that's 24 degrees of rotation. Okay. Okay, I would probably like a little bit more, so I'm gonna kind of move you a little bit better. There you oh, go. yeah. Okay, we're going to get a little bit more side bend in there as well. There you go. Hmm. Good. So we're working on your pelvic rotation and impact. I'm going to add another axis. I'm going to add side bend to that because to me, side bend is very important. And let's see if we can get you there. Okay, rotate. Okay, I got you this time. So you're in yellow with the side bend. I got you. Go ahead, go back. Back to this one. Address. Yep. It's that. Oh, okay. Feel the difference? I do. Okay. So it's this hip joint going under. Now both are green. Hmm. Again. There you go. Big difference. Big difference. Yeah. Big difference between this. Right. And, and this. I have a tendency to sometimes shut the face. And I could see why now, too, because if I turn this Correct. way versus this way. Correct. Why does the club path go left early? Because we don't move the pelvis properly. Right. The pelvis rotates this way, the chest is going to get out, and the arms are going to get out. Let's go and add the bend as well. So now we're, now we're working all three axes of the pelvis. Oh, and I could see it. Oh, and, and it's so cool how they go from red to yellow to green as I yep. get into range. So it's, it, it, it helped me a lot with you putting me in position, but it helps me even more that I can put myself in the position and stop when I get all those green lights. Why, why, do, why do we struggle after a golf lesson? Because remembering what was said, how to get there, right. and the, the hands-on right. helps. But like I said, this is almost like virtual hands-on. This is now you having the control of what your body does, yeah. not me. Right. You have the control of what your body does. So there has to be um, some student ownership to what we're trying to accomplish. So if you're sitting in your living room watching the Bay Hill Invitational this weekend, working on your pelvic rotation, yeah you know, a thousand times, you think it's gonna be better on the golf course the next day? It should, <laughs> Yeah, it should. And I see exactly what you're saying, the difference between you putting me in position and me putting myself in the position. Real is and vastly feel. vastly different. Yeah. Okay. You have to be able to self-organize to get yourself into that spot. 
Okay, so now we're getting two of these. We're getting the bend and the, the rotation and the side bend, but the bend is off. Better, much better. So Good. It's that one bend. So as this hip moves, there you go. That's where you really want to be. Yeah. Okay, do it again. There you go. Yeah, and I can feel it different in my feet than my normal swing where I'm yep. pushing my, uh, moving my weight. 100%. Interesting. So if you're, if you're a, a, a golfer who really wants to get better, yeah. number one, you can do this on your own. Number two, you can then take it to the range or the golf course to collect data. Yep. Um, and basically what information you'll get from the golf course, you will get swing fall, falls, right, flaws. flaws. Um, you will get S posture, C posture, over the top, flat shoulders, so on and so forth. So um, just like we're training this position, we could train any of those other positions in the same way. We could. That's really cool. We can. Yeah, it's it just, it, it's a definitely an enlightening experience feeling it and getting there. There you go, good. See how much ro rotation you have It's now? a lot more rotation, yeah. yeah. And guess what, rotation equals speed and consistency. Yeah. Really good. And it's a different type of rotation than yeah. what I'm used to. So it's almost like we are, we're not spinning. Right. We're rotating. Oh, How do you think these long drive guys get off the ground with their lead foot? Right. Because it's, ha it's the vertical pressures of the lead leg that put your pelvis into the proper spot. I like the auditory feedback too, so I, can, I don't even have to look up, I can just know I've gotten yep. there. So if I was to, if you're to train alone, here or at home, yep. go ahead, make three motions to put yourself in the proper position and then hit a golf ball. One. Do it again. Which one am I missing? Two. It's it's this it's this piece. This, this pulls up to the this pulls up to the. Oh, like this way. Okay. Correct. Let's see which way it wants. Good. Oh, right. this way. Okay. Hit one. Good. Do it three times. One. Two. Three. Good. You're getting that tone every time. Good. Go ahead and hit it. There oh, go. that felt good. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Much more pressure. Wow. Much more pressure in a lead foot at contact. Yeah. That's cool. And I love that. Feel it, feel it, feel it, and then go. Yeah. And listen, you can you can train it any way you want. Right. Um, I've been successful doing stuff like that with players. Yeah. Um, and. You know, every player is going to learn differently. I think the really cool thing about biofeedback is see, feel, hear. Yeah. It's the three forms of learning, right, from when you're a little kid. Yeah. That's all three in one little package. And then theoretically, practice it, go out on the golf course with it, come back, download, see how many times I did it, practice it, try to each time try to do it better. Right. Wow. Right. That's some incredible stuff. Well, Jim, listen, I appreciate you coming in here and showing us this. Absolutely. This is just... Uh, Really cool. And how can people find out more? Like, if you want to try this for themselves, are there coaches that they can find that are using it? This is on pre-sale right now. Okay. Um, it's not released. It should be released in another week to 10 days. Um, so we had some beta software today, so it was pretty interesting to get a test of someone besides myself on this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but 40motionsports.com, and you'll get more information on the website about that. You can email me, Jim, at 40motionsports.com. Happy to answer all your questions, but um, this is on pre-sale, and we're really excited about this product going moving forward. Cool. We'll take two of them. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Good to see you. You too.